What's going on guys? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make an awesome PS4 controller. Uh, so you, as you can see, I got a PS4 controller right here. Here's my PS4. Um, the PS4 controller obviously looks a little bit different than uh, usual. Uh, let me bring over a normal controller. So usually the buttons are all the um, same color, black in, in this case. So the analog sticks are black, D-pad is black, these have uh, shoulder shapes. Um, whereas this one, as you can see, it's everything's clear. So it's got cl clear joysticks, a clear D-pad, and uh, clear buttons over here. Um, the rest is the same. But basically, the difference between these two controllers, this is the original controller. Um, you know, nice PS4 controller, nothing special. But this one, it has LEDs in the buttons so they light up. Um, so let me show you how it works, actually. Uh, so basically, I had to open this up and install it. Um, the LED kit. I'll show you that in a minute. But basically, how you turn it on is there's like a there's a sensor in the um, on the inside that's like a, a pressure sensor. So you have to kind of press or squeeze the controller to get it to turn on and off. So let me just show you that. Um, sometimes you got to find kind of where the pressure. There it is. So you hold it for about like five to ten seconds and it turns on. Uh, so right now it's red. Um, it actually looks kind of orangish on the on the uh, camera, but it looks it's like a deep red. And it's a nice looking red in, uh, in, in person. Uh, if you hold the controller down, yeah, so like that. If you hold it down for a few seconds, it'll change colors. So we got green, blue, um, green, what else we got? Purple. Yeah, the colors actually like, the, the colors look a little bit different on camera, but they look real nice in person. So that's purple. What else we got? Um, okay, so now it's off. So if I just hold it down again, make sure I get the pressure points. There it is, red again. So it's pretty clear what the difference is between these controllers. So this one's just standard, this one lights up. Um, so let me show you the kit that it, how you do this. So basically there's an, a company called Extreme Rate. Um, they sell a lot of stuff on Amazon. Uh, I've shown their products before. I'll put a link in the description for this, but uh, I don't remember how much it costs, but it's not, it's not too much. Um, probably 10 to 20 bucks. Uh, basically it comes with everything you need. So all you need is your controller and then this extreme rate kit and so it's got the instructions it's pretty straightforward um, the entire process took me about 45 minutes I believe so it comes with um, all the uh, joysticks the uh, d-pad the buttons obviously um, obviously I already used them all so they're not in this kit right now but it also comes with a screwdriver only screwdriver you need it comes with a little prying tool and it comes with some tweezers so really all you need is your PS4 controller and this kit and you're good to go and like I said, it took me about 40, 45 minutes to get it installed. Um, probably the hardest part is honestly getting the controller apart for the first time because it's got so many clips. But if you just take these screws off and kind of pry at, pry at it with the uh, prying tool, you'll get it eventually. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's still clean PS4 controller. Um, everything works properly, so let me just show you. So right now, I'll, I'll see how, how can I do this. So I can scroll up down, right, left, same the D-pads, everything's working. Um, I can press the X button. I'll do it on this one. Yeah, so that works. Uh, back button works. Uh, yeah, so every, I mean, everything still works. Control works fine. Um, yeah, and you can see as in that process, I changed it to green. Yeah, so like I said, I'll leave a link in the description to this product from Extreme Rate. It's um, on Amazon. Pretty easy to install, took about 45 minutes and Basically, you just squeeze your controller and it turns on the LEDs and you can have red, blue, green, or purple. So it's pretty cool, kind of a simple mod to do to your controller to, if you're just learning, learning and want to start out. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you end up buying this or something similar. And hope you guys have a great day.